Hi folks, Glenn here with a really quick Photoshop tutorial for you and this is all to do with colouring highlights and what I mean by that is maybe you photograph somebody in a studio and then you're going to composite them into a scene where you're going to add in different coloured lights there might be street lights or neon lights where the light hitting them or the person in the scene would reflect what's around them but then you photograph them in the studio with white lights and no gels so how can we now add the colour to these highlights. Well we can do that really quite easily in Photoshop and here's just one of the ways we can do it. Okay so what we have here then is a picture where I've added in this fake wall light in the top left hand corner and what I need to do is just to change the colour of the highlights where the light's hitting our model so that they match in with that wall light as well and it makes it look that much more realistic and that's really really easy to do. What I need to do then is just turn off that layer containing the wall light. I'm going to add a blank layer and I'm going to get a brush and I'm going to paint in exactly the same colour as what I used to make that wall light. And all I shall do is just paint over our subject where I want that light to be hitting. Now I'm going to do this really quickly just to show you how we can do this. And when we're doing this for real we take a lot more time. But let's just get this done quickly so you can see what I mean. So I'm just painting over areas of our model where I want it to look as if that wall light was hitting him and casting highlights. So a little bit on his hand down here, there'd be more on his top just there, maybe a little bit more on his arm just there. Now I'm not too concerned about going over the edges because I could just either use the eraser tool or maybe even just uh, add a layer mask and paint with black to get rid of them. Whoops, but let's just bring that in like so, paint down there. Something like that is fine for now. In fact, just a little bit more on his shoulder like that will do the job. Okay, the next thing I can do is then change the blend mode of this to something like soft light or overlay if I want it to be just a little bit more contrasty, a little bit more punchy and I quite like that to be honest with you, so I'll leave it in overlay. I could then also maybe change the opacity because obviously this colour is on its own layer and I can control the strength of how strong that light is by lowering the opacity. And I'll probably keep it to somewhere like that. At the moment though it still just looks like I've painted yellow over the side of my model. We need to make it look as if the light was only really affecting the highlights and here's how we can do that. I'm going to double click on the layer, not on the thumbnail, not on the name, but just to the right hand side of that I'm going to double click and when I do that brings up the layer style dialog box and at the bottom is where the magic happens because we have the blend if sliders. Now if I use the bottom one called underlying layer and at the bottom we've got the, on the far left we've got a slider if I drag that slider over to the right, as I do that, what you'll start to notice is that the yellow colour we painted on is disappearing off the dark patches within our model's clothing and, and skin. And it's only attaching itself to the highlights. At the moment, it doesn't look realistic. It almost looks as if it's been sprayed on. So we need to do one thing just to make it look as if it really was naturally hitting our model. So if I just bring that slider back over to the left, if I hold down my Alt or my Option key now and then click on that slider, it splits it in two. And this is where I can control how that light affects our model by how it clings onto the highlights and then as it reaches the shadow areas and the darker areas, it just tends to fade out. So it looks that much more realistic and like it really would do if the light had actually been there in the first place. So let's just turn preview that on and off. So that's with it all over looking like it's been painted but by just using this blend if slider it then takes it off the darker areas as you can see there's none on his black top here but it's still clinging on to the highlights so it's a very very quick way of painting in that color onto highlighted areas now if i just turn on that light that we added in like so you can see the difference that makes if i turn it turn this light uh, we'll actually no we'll turn off the highlights we've just painted in on and off so you can see with the light on the wall there on the top left We've got these white highlights, which doesn't look realistic. But then if we turn on what we've just painted in very quickly, using the blend if sliders, the highlights now take on the character of that wall light in the top left-hand corner. Okay, so there's just one thing to remember when we do this, and that's when we're in the studio photographing our subject, that when we're putting these highlights onto them, that they're not completely blown out. So keep an eye on your histogram, make sure you've not got the blinkies, and that's it. Easy, huh? I'll see you next time.